Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to upgrade Jenkins by using an Ansible playbook. First, we are going to confirm which version are we running on Jenkins. As you can see, this is my local installation, which is running on localhost. And the version that is running is the 277.4, uh, which is the, the previous LTS version, but we want to upgrade to the latest. So for doing that, I already created a, a playbook for it and also an inventory file. Let's take a look on them. First on the inventory file, as you can see, I created a, a group called prod, which only has one host. This is my local host, but you can specify uh, multiple servers, remote servers, and also multiple uh, groups. And let's take a look on the playbook as well. Okay, first, as you can see, well, the uh, first, uh, the, the inventory file is in a ini format and the, the um, playbook is on a YAML format. And the first thing that we are going to see is this part, hosts, which is call, calling the, the tag prod, which is this one. Uh, you can specify here the, the group that you want to, to affect with all of the, the below tasks. Also, uh, we can see the, this become and mark it as yes. This, this means that, that all the tasks will be executed uh, with root privileges by using sudo. Let's take a look on the tasks. The first one. I'm going to create a, a temporary directory so we can download all the files in there and I'm using the module file. I'm specifying the path, the state, which in this case is directory because I'm going to create a directory. Also I'm specifying the owner, the group and the permissions for that directory and I'm creating a tag for this, this task. In the next one, I'm downloading the the actual jar file sorry war file for jenkins from this url which is the the official jenkins repository i'm downloading the latest version but you can specify any version here so this playbook will also work for rollbacks not only for upgrades this is a very helpful um, thing to to do with this playbook Okay, we are specifying the destination, which is the, the directory that we are recently created with the previous task. And also we are specifying the owner, the group, and specifying that it is a remote, um, well, the, the remote file is not local. Also, I'm creating a tag and creating a, a variable with this, um, this instruction register. The next task, I'm going to stop the Jenkins service by using the Jenkins module in Ansible. I'm specifying the, the service name and the state, in this case stopped because I want to stop the service. The next one uh, is for backup the current installation because for every upgrade or rollback we need uh, is a best practice to, to backup the previous installation in case something goes wrong. Uh, and for doing that, I'm using the module copy. I'm specifying the source, in this case, the active uh, war file and the destination, which will be the same destination, but I'm going to add the timestamp at the end. I'm specifying uh, the, the owner, the group, and also creating a tag. And uh, for the next one, I'm moving the recently download uh, war file to the actual path in Jenkins. And uh, for doing that, I'm using the shell um, the shell module, which is a built-in module in Ansible. I'm using a, a simple MB, and uh, I'm going to move the the, the Jenkins.war file from the TMP directory to the actual directory. The next one, I'm going to reuse the module um, the module service. Uh, for starting the the Jenkins service, and finally, I'm I'm removing all the temporary files. Okay, let's execute this. For doing this, I'm going to use Ansible playbook command, 
and I'm specifying the inventory file and the playbook at the end. Okay, it will start with all the tasks and it will take a bit uh, for downloading the, the new WAR file. So I'm going to pause and resume when it is done. Okay, it is finishing all the tasks and it is done. So one thing that I want to show you is in the um, Jenkins path, you can see that this is the latest uh, WAR file that we recently download and this one is the backup that the playbook um, just took and let's go to the browser to confirm the new Jenkins version that is running and is running fine okay it's loading and this the service is up and as you can see we are running the latest LTS version which is the um, 289.3 and this is how we can use an Ansible playbook for upgrade or rollback a Jenkins installation I'm going to let the, the um, URL to the repository where you can find these, these playbooks so you can use it if you want and this is all for this video please subscribe to the channel and let me know your comments thanks